this big fucking customer. <laughs> Let's see it. So the two of them are typing in one machine now. It's got, and nothing much is happening. And the big guy's saying to me, oh, fucking big shot, Conley, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they all run to you. They don't run to me. I'm working in Saudi Arabia for six fucking months, that's all. <laughs> you, probably homosexual. <laughs> Show business, velvet trousers, a sure fucking giveaway. Have a good mind to whack you in the side of the head, you poof. A nightmare. Oh, oh! <laughs> Where do you hear this? Where do you fucking know? Wait a minute. I'm watching TV. I was in Australia actually. And the guy says, it's astonishing. It's fucking astonishing. Because of the chip, you can now get all the whole Encyclopedia Britannica on one CD. <laughs> And it put it and it fits in your pocket. The whole encyclopedia but in your pocket. <laughs> and he left it at that. <laughs> if he, he didn't mention that it's fuck all good to you in your pocket. <laughs> that you need thousands of pounds of equipment to play the fucking thing. More expensive than the fucking set of encyclopedias. <laughs> Liars and bastards. <laughs> Bill Gates lives in a fortress. He's a squillion billion billionaire. <laughs> Why doesn't he make the fucking thing cheaper then, the cheating bastard? <laughs> the fucking thing should be a pound fifty. <laughs> You know, he could lose a billion or two. He could drop a squillion and not even fucking notice. Oh, he does good works. I should fucking hope so. He's got everybody's money. <laughs> now, it's easy to shop for shoes when you're a man because they treat us like shit. Like, <laughs> you know, no, you do the do. You go to a shop where they sell men's and women's shoes. One wall will be fucking blaze of color. Pink, yellow, red, blue, green, plastic, leather, cloth, fucking hessian hemp, velvet, leather, suede, thin strap, wide strap, no strap, sling back, stilettos, see through stilettos, fucking boots, half boots, wee tiny boots. <laughs> fucking leopard skin, fucking flap over things. <laughs> Laces, Velcro, fucking belt up the leg, fucking tie under the sole. Go one of the men's. Brown and black. Lace up, slip on, boots, goodbye. Did you do that in a nine and a half? No half sizes, for fuck's sake! And we're good shoppers, we, can, we don't know the price of anything. That's great, how much is it? If that's 520, okay, there you are. To take five, yeah, thanks. And the women go, what? They have it now. No, why do you need to piss so early? <laughs> now look, that's two guys going together. Now, you see two girls a lot, but two guys. It's when a comedian's on, she come with me, you'll fucking rip me to bits. <laughs> right. See, girls, it's a security thing. You know, I've got the door covered, Dorothy. Piss away, there's no boys here. <laughs> right. There's no men to listen to you splashing about. They're dirty buggers. <laughs> but guys, you know, you imagine two guys at the bar. Uh, hey, I'll go for a piss. Do I come? <laughs> mm. 
think you've got me wrong there. <laughs> They'd no half sizes in the shoe shop. That's why I walk like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I have nothing at all against fat people or fat women or fat anything. Be fat, I don't give a shit. But please, don't tell me you're big bond. Right, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. I'm big boned, yeah, your arse bone's a hell of a size. Of. And your belly bone, fucking hell, look at that. You know. Or retaining water. <laughs> You're retaining chips. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> You're retaining fucking Mars bars. <laughs> I've got a slow metabolism and a fucking fast appetite. <laughs> right. There's seven dinners waiting to be processed. And I've, So, <laughs> fat's fine with me, I don't care. I used to have I had a fat girlfriend some years ago at Edinburgh Festival. Yeah, and she, she was a fat girl, she was fun and nice and true, true. sexy too, yeah, sexy too. I remember making love to her, but the first time I thought, fuck, I'm up high. <laughs> Just an observation. Just oh, fucking hell, I could fall off here and hurt myself. Maybe we should be roped up or something. Maybe that's how bondage started. Yeah, let me fucking get that round you, we'll turn. Hope I don't burn my arse in a light bulb here. You know, you can't be too careful. You have to look after us. Jesus Christ. And, and I, I, I destroyed a relationship by fucking trying to be funny, you know? Just, I, I was stupid. We were at a particularly high moment of anxiety, banging away like a fucking man possessed. And I said, oh, I can see my house for here. And it was not what she wanted to hear. You know how it is. <laughs> but fat in itself is fine with me. Although, a couple of weeks, maybe a week ago or something, I was reading about obese people, but it said this person was morbidly obese. <laughs> Imagine having something wrong with you that was fucking morbid. That's a serious word, doesn't it? You've got the flu, Mr. Connolly. Oh, I thought it was my bone. You've got the morbid kind. What the fuck? What, did I paint a cross on my door or something? I mean, it's fucking morbid. Disneyland is the obese capital of the world. It's, it's obese mecca. They all make their way there eventually. Well, the big morbids. Sometimes you have a big obese guy and his big obese wife. <laughs> and a big obese child, a big fat child. <laughs> All of them were lycra cycling shorts on. 